Speaking in one voice, a community in pain cried out for change. This isn't about just sending thoughts and prayers anymore. They say that no laws could have been able to prevent the hundreds of senseless tragedies that have occurred. We call BS that us kids don't know what we're talking about, that we're too young to understand how the government works. We call BS. The names and faces of the 17 victims were everywhere here. Grade 9 student Alexis Tracton says she can't let her friends die in vain. I'm not only doing it for them, but I'm doing it for all the other survivors and the people who have died in these types of shootings before. And I'm doing it for the future, the future of the public schools, the private schools, all the schools in this country, because this doesn't have to happen again. They want America to end its love affair with guns, to ban assault weapons like the one used at their school, and for politicians who take money from the gun lobby to check their priorities. They need to understand that if they don't change, they're not going to get elected and they're going to lose their money and they need to start thinking about us and protecting the students. They directed their message to Florida Senator Marco Rubio and President Donald Trump, who visited a hospital and praised first responders, but when asked about guns... Your gun laws need to be changed, Mr. President. There was anger here, too, that the many warning signs were missed. Nicholas Cruz had been investigated for disturbing social media images in September 2016 and the FBI admitted it didn't look into a warning it got about him six weeks ago. This isn't political. This isn't about winning or losing a vote. This is about protecting our children. America has seen these kinds of protests before, but Alexis Tracton says this generation of students, one that has grown up doing school shooting drills, will be the one to bring change. I want this to be the catalyst, the end the end of the Second Amendment, or at least some sort of regulation that's going to keep these people with guns from walking down our halls and shooting our children relentlessly.